One of the things we are all looking forward to once the pandemic ends is traveling again. It's starting to pick up a bit, but when passengers walk through MSP Airport, they will be greeted with a new sculpture. And you can't miss it. Trust me, it's been under construction for the past four months, and the artist is back in town today applying the finishing touches that you can actually and eventually play with yourself. We're really happy with the progress. Rising through two floors at MSP Airport. You know, we're getting, we're very close. Artist Jen Lewin adjusts the LED lights on her new interactive sculpture she calls the Aurora. So this is meant to be um, a, a virtual Aurora Borealis that you can actually control and play with. Um, when we're finished, as you move around the ground, you'll be able to gesture and create light effects that will swoosh up the auroras. The effects are all generated by motion sensor cameras connected to a computer. As the people change the aurora in the space above, there's more to interact with below. And underneath you, well, there'll be some interactive lakes that you can stand on and they'll light up underneath you. The main elements of the sculpture were created in Lewin's Brooklyn, New York studio. To prepare for its installation, MSP Airport actually cut a hole in the ticketing floor to allow the aurora to flow up from baggage claim. Now the whole idea of this sculpture is it's a gateway to the state of Minnesota, a way for travelers to artistically experience the beauty of this state. I'm hoping they see some activation and they get kind of wooed in and then they have a playful experience within the piece. All before or even after they get outside and have a playful experience with Minnesota. But I think it's going to sort of create this really interesting connection to the, the sense of place here, to the lakes, to the beautiful natural environment. But it also is a really beautiful um, physical sculpture within the center of the airport that I hope people will remember as well. Yeah, it's big and it looks really cool too. And another interesting aspect of the sculpture is that it's an interactive piece of art that doesn't require touching. And that perhaps makes it more relevant and perfect in this COVID time and eventually in a post-COVID world as well.